record on there and um go, i'm going to quickly say on something on racism and how you deal with society well my thing with uh, racism uh let's say i'm born with brown skin in this life so which i am <laughs> and uh you know i might be called paki or go back to your own country or who, who knows what i had a guy when i was a kid uh, to try to throw stones at me. I, I confronted him and he punched me in the eye. So um, I fell down. But uh, so I've had all these kinds of things. But um, my view on it was I'm, I'm grateful I was at least a man. I could try and fight back. But um, uh, but uh, how do I do? Well, for me, spiritually now, um, why am I born? Uh, I don't believe it's by accident that I'm born with the color of skin I am in the country I am and that I face racism. But I don't believe that's unfair or that, in a way, the people that are doing that to me are wrong. I don't. I, I sort of see that in a lot past lifetime, maybe in this lifetime, I have judged others or bullied others because they're not the same as me. Or I've executed power or groups and I've done that to others. And so I get a, I get the lovely opportunity to forgive what I've done to others. Uh, or at least I get the chance for transcendence and to spiritually evolve and see it differently. So, um, yes, I, I mean, if someone was racist to me, I would be triggered, but I would clear it. You know, I'd pray for forgiveness for the one in me who has picked on others or been racist or or has done things to others which have been unfair in this lifetime and past lifetimes. I would, uh, I would try and uh, use this because, in truth, there is no such thing as racism. I know this might sound a bit funny or weird, but I would say in truth, my capacity to register and be in resentment and to see the other person as having done me wrong is a level of consciousness. Um, there is a certain level of consciousness, as of course Miracle says, where there's nothing to forgive, where you would only see what happened in love uh, and uh, or where you would, I mean, Hawkins made the funny joke. It's like if someone brought a gun and threatened to shoot him, he'd just stick his tongue out at them and uh, try and make a joke about it. Why? Because he'd be telling them, "This is, I know what's going to happen, but uh, you better have, you better get lighthearted and see this differently before you do make a huge spiritual mistake, which you're going to suffer, I'm not going to suffer. So as you spiritually evolve, how you see, I mean, your perception of racism starts to disappear and is transformed at different levels of consciousness. But on a practical level, that's very esoteric, but what can you do if you're suffering, someone's calling you names or someone's trying to hit you? What can you do? All right, I would see it as a karmic contract between myself and that person. Say there's a person who's regularly tormenting me with racism, then I would pray for him. I would, uh, say, I would pray for forgiveness for the one in me that probably did that to him in a past lifetime. I would, um, I would pray for a miracle to see him differently because he's going to keep doing that to me until I've cleared what I need to learn spiritually from this event. So on a serious note, uh, he's my karmic assignment. He's come here to teach me a spiritual lesson until I've learned my lesson with him. Now, I could try and buy a shotgun and shoot him, but I don't think that was what God wants me to learn by the incident. So I have to transit. And I'll go back. I'll end on this very quickly. And, and this doesn't sound as serious as racism, but I think a lot of spiritual seekers will know what I'm talking about. So there was a, I was in a spiritual group and I like to say the word God and this woman was an atheist and she didn't like the word God. And um, I wrote about this in my book. It was so tr miraculous. So she would come up and say this atheist thing. And then I'd say my God thing in the group all the time. And we, we couldn't, we didn't like each other, put it, that, put it mildly. And I prayed for her and I did step tens and I prayed for a miracle to see her differently. And one day I woke up and I just felt like it, my resentment was completely gone. And there was no animosity. There was nothing towards her. Even if she did the same stuff again, there was nothing there. There was only like, maybe love is the wrong word, but there was nothing negative left in me. I went there looking forward to see her in the group. And that day she came to me, this woman, we'd been like aggressive towards each other verbally came up to me that day I felt forgiveness and, and complete release from what I held towards her. She came to me and said, Sabir, first time she ever spoke to me uh, properly. And uh, she said to me, Sabir, um, I wanted to say thank you. You've, you've, you, you've been a, a real spiritual teacher. And she said, I just also wanted to let you know I'm leaving the country. And it's like when I learned the spiritual lesson with this woman, 
it was like God took her out. I'd learned my lesson and this problem that I was facing over and over again was removed from my life. And I know a lot of you have, you know, when you've learned the lesson, the less the thing disappears. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop and uh, then.